Previously on The Potentialists. When he got to that level of energy that he was really frustrated. I am so juiced. In a matter of a year, I've been able to lose about 100 and some pounds. He was mouthing along the words. <laughs> Anyone can entertain you, but only we edutain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Get ready to make it happen. So I've had Gizzy now for just about a year, and right after I got him, my Uncle Tom sent me this doggy DNA kit. He just really wanted to know what breed Gizmo is. What do you got, Bert? For 1995, <laughs> a DNA breed identification. You get the results in two weeks. We want to know where he's from, what kind of breed he is. So it's been sitting on my counter forever, and I've been mentioning it to everybody forever, and everybody kept saying, film it, film it. So, well, I finally brought it in. Are you excited to find out if your dog is half human? <laughs> I don't know, Olivia's interested though. She no, came he out. He it's food. <laughs> <laughs> Write the dog's name on the swab sleeve. Place the swabs and customer information card into the envelope. You're in trouble, dude. Trying to get that swab thing into Gizzy's mouth was not easy. And I was a pet sitter, so I actually was trained on how to, like, you know, hold the dog down and give him pills and stuff like that. Yeah, that training, totally gone. Come here, baby. He's a good boy. Give me his cheek. Really? That's gonna be tougher than you think. Oh, honey. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Yeah. You gotta hold it firmly. I'm trying. It was difficult. And I kind of made him bleed. Oh, it's bloody. Oh, because you probably poked him. Well, now they got DNA for sure. <laughs> you got blood. <laughs> I really hope that we get the results back and that like the company hasn't gone out of business since I've had it for so long. My guess is he's probably a Jack Russell. That dog is just way too hyper. You send a box and that's what they send you? That's it? I didn't send a box, I sent an envelope. Huh. Give me these bucks. That comes back in. Yes. What? Yes. You wanna know what you are? All right. To our value customer, we've received a BioPet branded test from you. Are you kidding me? You gotta pay again? No. <laughs> I waited too long. Are you serious? Uh, so we'll never know if he's all right? Unfortunately, the time allowed to us no, for processing right. is now expired, so your sample is being returned. We'll never know. We will never know unless we buy another one. You need to take action when? <laughs> What's it? When you are provided with the thing. We'll never know. We'll never know. I think he's just splintered. Do you have a fly invasion in your office? We do, and it's kind of spooky when you're all alone in the studio. I may have a slight obsessive compulsive disorder. Currently there are five flies on that light and three on that one. Seriously, like what the hell are you guys doing here? I'd prefer that there are four on each light just because, you know, there's an even number. Oh my God. One man. One weapon, one voiceover to save his people. Die, fight! Die! I see you! Hiya! Super jump! Fua! You got one. <laughs> Big, huge flies and the little Frodo trying to kill them. Pua! I'll rip off your wings. We are going to get a voiceover for one of our recent videos, but we need some talent. So, yeah. Okay. Okay, I have to talk for you. Yes. You have the most authentic role for this specific task. What is it? I'm killing flies oh. in like a kung fu style. <laughs> so I want you to like add sound effects in your authentic oriental accent. Do I have an objecting or into acting that? You have one better than all of us. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, look at the first three. The first, uh, uh, die, fly, die. Die, fly, die. What's kind of weird because i never done that before. Hiya! Hiya! And then this one is Fua! Fua! It's kind of fun too because you know that was kind of fun. I don't know. <laughs> the next one is I'm jumping up to side one, so you're gonna be like super jump! Super jump! I think we got it. That's very okay. <laughs> Thank you. One man, one weapon, one voice. Great. 
I'm just helping the dead bird right now to be out in front. So help me out. And they come to this pool. Oh, come here. I got to come back to you. I get a little. Hi, I'm going to come back there. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. I expect it. It's not going to happen forever. But I'm learning from it. It's okay. Yeah, I remember what I was asking. Big, huge flies in the little frog trying to kill them. But then you have these horses on the side. Come on. Are these horses in your place? Yeah, because horses are the average. I'm going to be out of the way. Kind of weird. I am on my way to go see my friend Annie for a little bit. This is seriously a test. She's really not happy. She feels like I have forgotten our friendship and that's really not true. I've been avoiding her, not just because work has been busy, but because I feel guilty of over the fact that I haven't been spending time with her, so I've been making it worse by avoiding her. I would say I'm gonna vlog, but I know Annie is really anti-video right now. She hasn't seen any of her videos, and she says it's out of respect because she thinks work has taken me away from her. She feels very negative about it, so she doesn't want to make it worse by watching them and not liking them. She wants to wait till she feels better, which is fair. Anyway, it's really hot. I turn the AC off. Yeah, now the, the AC's gotta go back on. I think one of the biggest issues that I'm having with my friend Annie is the fact that I have not been like 100% me with her. Working with Boa World and Bert and Alex specifically, I've grown and changed quite a bit. This is a friend that I've known since I was five. It's really hard sometimes to open up and show how you've changed to somebody who's known you that long. You worry about acceptance. Yo, how you doing? Check this out, it's Serge from Bowl World. You better like us. And if you got something to say, leave a comment. And check this out, if you really got the guts, subscribe so I can get back to you so we can make it happen with Bowl World. Feel me?